Good morning. I ran out to our favorite store, Lowe's, and picked up some more double outlet covers. We can get that finished up in here and a switch cover, and then we can get a couple of our freezers installed and get them running. I'm waiting to see if the inverters kick on or when they kick on today so we can shut the door and see how much of that sound stays in this room versus going out. And that's the whole reason why we insulated it. It feels so good to be able to have run room almost complete. We just have just little touch up things and then we're going to put freezers in and hopefully have room for a coat rack and stuff. But this room will be done besides the trim, but the trim is going to be a little bit later on. So our original outlet boxes that we had installed for the switch and a couple outlets on that side, I had them set for sheetrock, not three quarter inch pine. So yeah, put an electrical box extension in there. And when you do that, the screws that come with the outlets are not long enough. So the question is, should we let them sit for a little while before we plug them in? Probably, huh? Don't say that on a bumpy ride. Yeah. So we can work on some doors and then come back later and get them plugged in. We are gonna start getting this mess picked up. We're gonna start by getting all these doors put up so they're out of the way and they're also getting put up so they're not gonna get scratched. Also gonna be out of the way so that we can start if I want to put some shelves in the pantry, move some stuff into the greenhouse room in a day or two, and all that. These ones are going to be a little bit easier. Yes, these door pulls are just a pull with no latching mechanism on them. So we don't have to drill the door for the locking mechanism to slide. So it'll be one less step. It's gonna feel good to get these doors all put up and then that way we don't gotta worry about damaging them. Let's just start with the greenhouse door and we'll get the pantry door done. Then we have a bathroom closet door, Olivia's door, and then our door. We gotta hang the casing for it. And we wanna figure out what color trim we wanna do for all of the door casing and the windows casings. We've been kind of having a debate on that. So we're gonna need your help. We want your opinion. So there's white is an option, the color of the doors, which is the steel wool. Which one's the steel wool? This is a steel wool. This is the color so the, of the doors. That's the door color. Yep, so we can do the color of the door, white, or Al doesn't want white, and I agree because they get dirty. We were thinking maybe the original gray, I was gonna do the doors. So you'd have, let's see. This would be the trim up against the doors or that or white. What are you leaning towards? I really would like to do the dark, but I'm afraid of what it will look like because I'm not, we're not color people, so. I don't know if it will make it look weird. I think it will give it a nice pop, but I'm afraid. So we want your opinion. Let us know. Do you think the dark trim will look nice or will it be like, well, what did they just do? So in all of our other houses, we've never had much color inside. This house, we have a ton of it. And we're loving it. We got the blue, we got the grayish, and then we got the white ceiling. Just all different colors. I'm really liking the different colors. I don't know. I just don't want to go with white trim. Well, the white trim too can get dirty because we are working on a farm homestead. 
retouch things. It's more maintenance. Yep. And so I want everything to look clean. So that's another reason to go dark. I think it'll look good. Let us know. It's gonna look different having a door on here. Pencil mark on that gray door, depending on like the lighting and the shadow, and it's really hard to see. So I like to outline it with the blue tape so that way when I'm going to cut, I'm not guessing where my mark is. Plus it saves the paint from chipping away, right? Yep. Now we've locked in these doors and here it's gonna take a minute to get them out. I'm kind of really embarrassed to be showing you guys our big mess everywhere, but we are under construction. We are also trying to get ready to move in our other house move out so it's just like have to just give myself grace in this season of messiness because i know everything had to kind of get a little messy before it gets taken care of <sighs> Do you think we're even going to get our door with the casing on? Yes, I know. You're probably going to wish it was a pocket door out there. Your favorite part, the wheels. The wheels. By the time I get done, I'm gonna be an expert at this, so. And then we'll be all done. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we need these, I know that. We use all these screws? We do. We use all these screws. So I guess we never screwed that in all the way over here. So he's gonna do that right now. Al's gonna take care of that. Yeah, I'm not sure why you never did that. I probably couldn't reach. Probably. I'm pretty sure I wasn't here when you did that. Ooh, that's 
the nicest thing in here. Whoop, whoop. Oh, way out of oh, we, level. I forgot we had to level it. Okay. Let's see. Is it just the way it's cut? I think no, I'll have to shim that top down. Oh, push a little over here. Yep, perfect. All right, I need a little hole. Right on the money. How did that happen? I don't know. That gap is good and tight. I just need to go up and tighten up these jam nuts so that way we can't pull the door off of the top bracket. I plan on doing something that says pantry or something like that. There's so many cute pantry signs or decals. I'm definitely going to do something on my pantry there. I wanted to do a different door here, but then when it all came down to it, I'm like, let's just do all the same and I'll, I will make it accessorized some way different. If we go with the dark trim, do you think dark trim in the bathroom too? I want to do all my trim the same color. I want my doors all the same color, my trim all the same color. I just feel like, I don't know, with the white tile, we do white trim, dark trim. But I think because the color we're wanting to do for the dark trim is like charcoal, which is kind of like the grout, it might look good. Do you love it? I like it. Okay, I'm going to shut the bolt doors and see what it looks like. What do you think? I like it. Looks good. Like the pop of color. I really like the gray with the green. I'm almost thinking a flat black trim to match the door poles. Flat black. And it would match for the shooter system for all the doors to flat black or some kind of black. Because your poles are already black. So it would tie in with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's what the interior decorator inside of me is saying. <laughs> That is good right there. The rough opening is still off a little bit, but we will fix that with trim. I just don't think flat black trim's gonna look good up here. No? No. I really wasn't sure if I was going to like the 
this color door up here because I didn't know how it would look with this gray. I think it looks good. Al thinks it makes it look more blue. I actually think it helps it look more gray because it definitely has a blue tinge to it. But I think it helps it look more gray. Then you look into our room with the blue sheets and it looks blue for sure. That looks nice in this room too. All right, now we are going to plug in the freezers. We want to let them sit a little bit because they had a long ride. So I'm really liking how this came out. Yeah. It's coming out. We'll get meat moved in, get other freezers in here at some point. Al has another door to put in in our bedroom. I'm going to head out. I have a lot of stuff that I have to get done. Um, so I had a little bit of time to process. I want to keep you guys updated. I'm sorry to update you a little sooner about what's going on with my surgeries and stuff. But a couple of little things have changed and I've I need a time to process. We need a time to process. Yeah. So um, I did go and have an ultrasound with the endometriosis specialist and my endometriosis is um, worse than we thought. So I do have stage four, which did kind of know that, um, but that was confirmed. And at that time I do have um, the endometriosis is trying to grow in or is growing into my colon. So at that time, we needed to involve another doctor surgeon that could take care of that because once I have my reconstruction surgery, it's going to be like they consider it kind of dangerous to be going back into that area. Right, so they got to go in to reconstruct the ureter. Right. And once they go in to reconstruct the ureter, they don't want to have to go back in for any other surgery. So anything that Sorry, that's freezer move. Anything that needs to be done, they want to do everything at the same time so they're not messing up or damaging any of the reconstructive surgery that they're doing. Right. When I had my CT scan, we had noticed that my I had a cyst that was drained during my original surgery and that had started to grow again. So I had asked then, can we take care of this all at once? So that proceeded into... Um, when my other surgery I just had didn't really work as we wanted that I did have to have reconstruction surgery so now they had to go in so that we brought in a specialist for the endo. So then when I um, found this doctor then we found out we needed to bring into another doctor which we met and seemed really great so I have a team of three surgeons um, that seemed really great, great doctors and so my surgery is going to be a three in one yep. and I am going to have, I didn't want to, I hate when I get like this. Okay. I am going to have a lot of extra accessories <laughs> <laughs> um, just temporarily. Um, that's the plan. So thank goodness for that. And really my original surgery with my cyst has ended up being um, the complication has led to really a blessing. Right, finding out everything else that's going on. Right, because if I would have not found out, out about all this other stuff going on and have to go back in, like we said, it could be dangerous. Um, plus, also again, taking care of all this because it's just, it's stage four, it keeps doing all this stuff. Um, so, I'm going to have um, a catheter for a couple of weeks while I'm back um, for that. And then for two to three months, I am going to have, um, well, basically the surgery that I'm going to be having is a, um, I, I always, okay, Illy, I already knew what it was. <laughs> Iliostomy, 
I, I'm very bad about all these terms, but I'm going to be having an ileostomy. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And then, so I will have an ostomy bag for two to three months. That is going to be temporary. Please pray that that is going to be that way. And that um, I will have to have a small surgery to kind of remove that and get everything back into place after. But after all this, after I get all this stuff taken care of, I'm going to be you know, down for a little bit, but I am going to be on the road to recovery and healing and feeling like a new person. So I need or appreciate all your prayers and we thank you. Um, our journey to look a little different probably for a little right. bit. So we just um, trying to make sure um, it's confusing, I know, and there's bits and pieces that we're probably missing. And every time we go in for one thing, it's been oh wait, we can't do that, something else comes up. Then you go see another doctor, they think one thing and something else comes up. So it's been ever changing for us. And then a lot of the times these specialists are calling us like, hey, can you get down here like now? And they're a few hours away. So we jump in the truck or the car, we drive down there, we try to make the appointments and everybody's just trying to line everything up because we have a date in a couple of weeks for the robot. And so all the, the doctors are trying to make sure we can get everybody lined up together for that date and it's not that far off. And I truly, honestly feel like this is all God's plan because if the stuff didn't happen to me before, I totally wouldn't be ready for this. If right. someone would say, you're gonna have this and this and this, I would just be beside myself. I have had a little bit of experience now with some of it. Also have found great doctors and they're really great and I feel like they're listening to us. I feel like they um, aren't gonna, don't wanna do anything that they don't think they can do. I feel like I am in really good hands and the fact that all three of these great doctors are able to do it on this date is just really crazy in itself. So I do feel like um, this is God's plan and it's been getting all lined up. Right. Yeah, so. I always said that I'd never want to show myself without being ready in the morning. That is, <laughs> I'm going to be looking quite like a hot mess for a little bit. And I am going to lay low and take care of myself, but after a little bit, the doctor said I can do stuff. My body's going to tell me right. what I can and can't do. I'm not going to be lifting and building barns and stuff, but I can do stuff right. so it is a robotic surgery so they don't have to go in and make big incisions they just make small cuts and go in with the robot so it is a healing process but she doesn't have to worry about her scars healing or coming open so we'll, we'll be on a weight restriction it wasn't for very long and they said the biggest thing after that for i think they said six weeks or something like that it's you're more tired four to six weeks yeah fatigue it's more you're dealing with being fatigued mm -hmm. so you're gonna be resting a lot because yeah. your body's healing still yeah so yeah, so we have a lot, we have a lot going on, and um, we're sharing it with you. It is part of our journey, and you guys have been really great, and we thank you for that. So maybe we're not going to be right in the house at first, but I think that we can slowly get in here. Yeah. So that's really good. That's exciting. So The plan is to keep moving along here mm -hmm. the best we can, not getting stressed out and plucking along, mm -hmm. just always moving forward and constantly doing something, but not not setting any deadlines like, hey, we've got to be in here by this date. Right. We're just going to take the time and enjoy the process. Yes. And not put any more stress on ourselves than we need to. Right. Thank you for your prayers and your thoughts and everything um, that you guys have done for us. We really, really appreciate it. It's all in God's hands. That's right. We're just going to stay flexible. Yes. <laughs> Which we're really bad at. So this is a good, uh, good for us. Good stretch. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> because we put our floor down first before we did the door casings. And I guess I didn't figure for that. Let me go measure the door, see if I have room to cut some off of the casing without having to cut the door back. All right, we have plenty of room. The worst part is just, now we gotta make a mess up.
awesome. All right, let's try it out. It looks pretty good. I am really good at making a mess. All right, so we're going for a different look of a knob. Then we know what we went with the square one. A little different, but we did that because the poles are square. So we figured if we went with a round knob here, it'd look a little different. So I don't know, switched it up a bit. So let's gonna go this way. All right, how's that look? That knob matches the squareness of the pole a little bit better than a round knob would. Couple of touch up spots, but I don't know. I think I'm liking the gray and the black and the white. What do you think? You girls ready to see the doors? You like the white trim? It looks a little dirty, but I like the, <laughs> the white trim. I do like the white trim. I think it makes it pop. Yeah. You don't want to leave the trim like that? No, I don't like the, the rough look. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's why we don't want white. Uh, it's antiqued. Yeah, I like it. I like the door not the pick. So we started organizing, we got all of the big stuff out, like the staging and some of the other big things. <laughs> and they always say it gets worse before it gets better. And I hope that's the case because it still feels like a whirlwind explosion has gone off in here. Sure does. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're running out of time. So this is where we're gonna have to call organizing it for now. <sighs> and hopefully it'll look better later on. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. We'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Bye.